gonna take the tune Mary Had a Little Lamb and we're gonna turn it into a hoedown. So I'm gonna play the whole thing for you at a medium speed and then break it down for you note by note. S still pretty much a beginner lesson, but it'll be cool because if you're a beginner, you'll get a little taste of how to add variation to tunes. So here we go. That's it. And I might add, if you're more advanced, even way more advanced, this may be a new concept for you to add variation to things. Like if you're coming from a classical background, and so even though this is like a simple beginner tune, you may get something out of this lesson. And then I'm going to do follow-up lessons on how to do progressively more difficult variation, but with the same basic tune. So we'll, we'll continue with Mary Had a L Little Lamb and just add Irish embellishments and rhythmic embellishments and so forth. Today we're keeping it relatively simple. This is what we're doing. We're adding this rhythm, hoedown, which is long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. You may even want to just pause the video and practice that a bunch on different strings, different scales so on. Just get, kind of get it in your arm and body and, and then you'll be ready to do the tune. Next step would be to play the basic version of the tune. That's all I'm going to do for it today just to illustrate that. But I have a lesson on that too on fiddlehead.com. And so now I think we're about ready to just learn this basic variation. I should be more clear. It's a very it's the a simple variation on the basic version. So, here we go. I'm now going to play for you the first quarter of the A part. And with more flow So this is the first quarter. I would pause the video and learn it really well because it's also the third quarter. So you, you basically, if you get this one little thing down, you know half the song. Earlier I called it the A part, which was kind of incorrect. There's only, there's just one part basically. But we'll, con anyway, we'll continue doing other versions of it. But the basic tune is only one part. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And then now we're going to do the second quarter of the tune. And with flow. So, by the way, tabs, sheet music, play along tracks on fiddlehead.com for this lesson. And then the third quarter is the same as the first, but I'll repeat it for you. And now here is the fourth quarter of Mary Had a Little Lamb Hoedown. tune now. Excellent. So now I'm just going to play the entire thing more slowly. Feel free to play along with me. Three, four.
Now I'll try to do it with this play along track. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that ends this lesson on how to add variation to Mary Had a Little Lamb. Here's a postscript though. If you do really get this down, and stay with it for a while, but if you start to get it, a fun thing you can do that will deepen your practice and your knowledge of this tune is to just start it with the same fingering on a different tune, different string, on the G string. That puts it in the key of G, or the G scale, and so you'll, the cool thing about this, which is called transposing, is that you'll get better at the G scale, and you'll get better at this tune. You can also start it on A2. Alright, cool, have fun with that. You can take all kinds of melodies and create with them. That's what I hope you start to see from this lesson. Take care, see you next time. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.